cerebral, some of you may have heard of the medical term called cerebral palsy, also known as CP. This is a very rare condition that affects less than 200,000 US cases per year. For those of you that don't know a lot about this disease, we are here to familiarize you with this condition. Cerebral palsy is a group of neurological disorders that kids tend to develop in infancy or early childhood. It affects the muscle coordination and body ability to control movement. More specifically, the motor area of the brain's outer layer or the cerebral cortex that directs the muscle movements. Cerebral palsy is caused by an injury to the brain before, during, or after birth. The damage is unrepairable. Some of the symptoms of this condition include weakness in one or more arm or leg and lack of muscle coordination while performing voluntary movements, delay in reaching motor skills, and difficulty performing precise movements such as riding or buttoning a shirt. Children with CP may also commonly suffer from occasional seizures and impaired vision. Strabismus is usually a symptom as well. It causes children to suffer crossed eyes, which left untreated could cause difficulties with their vision. CP also interferes with learning as kids may experience pain and have difficulty obtaining auditory or spatial information. So uh, my daughter, Emmy Claire, has cerebral palsy. And um, when we adopted her from China, we didn't really know that she had it. In fact, what we learned when we adopted her, you know, you, we only had a picture of her. So when we were in China, she was 15 months old and not walking. The doctors there couldn't kind of communicate uh, to us that um, what was wrong. They didn't know. Mr. Meadow wants everyone to know that kids with cerebral palsy aren't any different than a normal kid. They may struggle physically or may have some trouble speaking, but that doesn't make them any less important. It's just physical. Um, so, like for her, it's just the way she walks, and and, and she's she's gonna work and try just as hard as anybody without it with any issues, but she's always going to be last, and, and, but if you pump her up, then she's going to be happy. Did you know that cerebral palsy can be classified into four different types? Spastic, dyskinetic, ataxic, or you could have a combination of two or more types. CP is a complicated disease that no one will ever fully understand, but we hope that this video cleared it up. On the screen is a website to learn more about cerebral palsy and donate it to the cause.